Hey y'all, welcome back to the Van Show. We are here. I got some new things to show you. First and foremost, how y'all doing? Let's let's start there. Let, let me not be rude this time because y'all know I just jump right in and get to it. Okay. So I want to show y'all this palette here from Blend Bunny. It is called the Surge Palette. I'm gonna have to adjust my lighting because baby, you're not gonna be able to see anything. I'll just show y'all. Check this out. You barely can see the top row what's going on. So let me adjust my lighting. All right. And let me do one more, cut off one more light just to make sure y'all, y'all making sure y'all see what it's giving. But it's pastels at the top. You see that? There we go. This is a more true to life of um, depiction of what the palette actually looks like. So get into the colors. Like, love that. Love all of this for me. I'm going to do my best not to do a green. <laughs> No promises. Oh, so I also have, I've been seeing the girlies talking about this foundation. It's Giorgio Armani, um, and this is the Luminous Silk Foundation. From what I hear, this is one of the best foundations for photos. Um, so I haven't used it yet. At least I don't remember if I used it. I might have used it already. I don't know, but I got it last week. It's new. If I used it, I only used it one time. Child. Anyway, it's Forget all of that. Let's get into this B. So I already got my moisturizer on. I already did the skincare part. But let's go ahead and get into the primer. So I'm using the e.l.f. Um, Child of Power Grip with the 4% Nacinamide. I said it right this time. Okay. <laughs> We're going to use that primer. And ooh, I feel like she already gripping. Yeah, grip, grip. Okay. So we're starting off with that. I don't know about y'all, but I'm I'm here for the bright light, okay? Shine bright like a diamond. The skin is a glimmer ring. I'm drinking my water. I'm drinking my water and minding my business, period. Let me show y'all. The water, okay? The water is being had. Anyway, don't pay me no mind, y'all. I also have coffee, too, so. We're here. This is what's happening today. Get into it. So it is brow time. Let me get the powder. Y'all know I always powder my brows first. So that way I feel like we just have a good just base. Like it's not too slick from the primer or anything like that. So I'm just going to brush them up. Brush up my brows. Powder time. I'm going to use the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. It's yellow. I heard the girls be using this too. So... You know, I went on Beyonce's internet and did the thing. It is yellow. Allegedly, it's supposed it's supposed to like help with flashback. Um, it's better for like the deeper skin tones because usually the white setting powders leave often leave a cast. So you know, I've been experimenting with the with the yellow powder powders, but I feel like this is almost orange. I'm gonna be for real. That's how it is. So let me do that. And I'm just going to set those areas that I usually set. Go ahead and brush that up again. So we're going to switch up the brow game a little bit. Um, I'm going to get back into my MAC pots. So I'm going to use black track and then also I'm going to use low lights, which is the brown. Um, I'm feeling extra with the brows, so I want to do a little ombre brow today. So y'all will let me know what y'all think about that, how that turned out, I suppose. So I got my brush here and I'm just going to put a little bit on the brush because a little bit goes a long way. <laughs>
really love how this brow product dries down. You can also use it for a liner too. So you're just going to brush it up like that to create that ombre look in the front. Can you see it? I know you see it. Okay. What I'm going to do, per the usual, I'm going to go ahead and set this brow with the Essence Like a Boss Transparent Brow Gel. I'm going to do the other brow off camera. When I get back, we're going to be ready to conceal the brows. And then we're going to get into my favorite part, the eyeshadow. Hey y'all, we're back. We got the brows all done up <laughs> and things and concealed and so, um, Let's get into this eyeshadow base. So I'm going to use uh, my concealer. Um, and this is a color correcting concealer called Dark Peach. If you're my complexion, this is the one for you because it's going to color correct too. So that's always nice. about the conceal but not the conceal brows the pomade brows I like them so much uh, when I do them they just take a little bit more time that's all so we're just gonna pat out the concealer don't forget to leave your girls some words of encouragement down at the bottom I really appreciate everybody who's been you know reaching out to me whether if you know me in real life or you know send me a message on Instagram thank you that goes a long way and you can also leave it down in the chat though okay in the comments Enter the chat and leave your girl something encouraging. This L'Oreal uh, foundation powder, it is continued, but I really like using this to highlight the brow bone as well as set the concealer that I've used for the brow bone. That is very helpful. Mirrors. I love this mirror. Wonder Woman. I broke it, of course, because I'm not used to nice things. the eyeshadow this is y'all know my favorite part how many times am i gonna say it child how many times you gonna get it that's how many times i'm gonna say it so again we're using this palette today um i'm thinking about doing like a hmm this green of course we know the greens are calling me i don't need to say much about that but i'm thinking about doing like a brown but like a non-traditional one like do brown and then add these pastel colors and see what we get that's how i'm feeling brush right here and just blend it out. So now we're gonna get into these pastels. So I'm going to start with let's do let's start here with power. What power looks like is this orange right here. I really like that. That's really pretty. Let me turn the lights back up so we can get back into it.
to do is just blend everything into each other, okay? Back, I done blended everything in. Um, now, of course, we're going to use one of these shimmer shades. I, of course, I don't know which one I'm going to do. So I'm thinking about between Flash. Can you see that? Yeah. And this color right here. Or maybe just do something crazy like that blue. Just look a little bit. Hmm. I'm going through it right now. Let's go for this one right here. That is zip it up. Check that out. I swatched it already. Oh, that's nice. That's always nice when you do that. Take it up another notch. Should we do a color color? Let's do a color color. Let's do it's not really plain. Let's do this color right here, which is called Limitless. Y'all know I gotta incorporate a green. You, you should know me by now. That's pretty. Look at that. Mmm. Nice. And I'm just gonna put it right here. <laughs> And this is under eye primer. So I'll put a a generous I mink. Oh whatever. Okay, y'all, we're back. I already put my I rubbed my um my under eye line fix primer in. That's why my eyes are looking like that at the bottom. Um what we're gonna do now is conceal the top of the brows. So I would use my Maybelline. 30 hour concealer and the color number 57 and we're going to outline the top of the brows Close that on up, and y'all know we only got a little bit of time to blend this thing on out. So let's let's get to it. It's that. to the next thing um we're gonna go into the juvia's place bronzer still loving this y'all still loving it um and this is the color amber so we're just gonna put some on the brush here and just hit the perimeter it will be everywhere <laughs> messing with me okay now it's foundation time so i'm going to use the Giorgio Armani luminous silk and this is color number 115 i'm undecided about the color i do have a mixer just in case like i don't like the way it's looking but when i used it the first time i was like yeah 
Oh, it looks a little red to me. You see that? You see that? Yeah, it looks a little red. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little bit of this Revlon. Um, and this is Revlon Skin Caring Foundation. Um, it's a more of a skin tint, if I must say so myself. It has squalene in it. I heard that's good for your skin. Don't ask me what to do, Google the child. But this is number 417. And to me, it has a similar consistency um, as the Luminous Silk Foundation. So let's get to blending and see what we do. But I think this is going to help balance out the color a little bit. And y'all y'all see, y'all know I be going in heavy handed, but I only use a little bit, okay? Because y'all know. Y'all know me. I be putting about 10 pumps, okay? If it ain't cake face, I don't want to pee. Concealer in color number 60, WR. And this is going to be a dramatic look. So, you know, I'm going to go in with the highlighting. And we are going to be starting with our yellow powder today. That Sasha Butter Buttercup powder. I'm optimistic. Not going to lie. Um, and then we're going to use our forty, our Super Stay Concealer Maybelline um, in color number 42. And we're just going to put that in. The color is almost the same. It's like a shade difference, but I just like the way these two um, concealers mix together. So I'm going to take my powder puff like such. And I'm going to use this e.l.f. Stay All Night uh, Microfine Setting Mist. I'm going to spray that on there. And then this is what I'm going to blend my concealer out with, okay? So let's do that. back into my Sasha Buttercup in yellow and I'm just putting some, th some on my um, powder puff here and we're just going to set the concealer. to my Juvia's Place bronzer again. perimeter of the face with some powder and I'm going to use my Juvia's Place bronze powder. I don't know that's looking a little red so I'm having to change your heart. Matter of fact we're not doing that. We're going to get back into the one size trio. We're going to start with this color right here. This is the uh, deep trio and this is called pay no mind. Don't pay me no mind because I'm definitely not going to pay you mind. Anyway. So now we're going to get over to uh, my NARS Laguna 7 powder. Uh, it's a bronzing powder. Ooh, 
is get on over to my Julius place. Uh, powder foundation powder to set the rest of my face and to tone some of this rest this powder down a little bit a little bit of baking so what I'm gonna do is take my sponge again and we're gonna bake with this um, with this yellow powder Oop, that's a lot we're gonna bake I'm gonna go glue some stones to my face and when I get back we're gonna get into the lips y'all we finish showing up okay all right, ladies and gents, we are back. Y'all see, I got into the stones. Get into it. I got this uh, set of stones here from a company called Suba Beauty. They are so cute. Let me just show y'all real quick what it looks like. You see that? So it gives you like different shapes and stuff from like, just it's just different from what I've like, from anything I've ever seen before. So that's why I really like that little, you know, setup for face gems. But anyway, let's get into the lid okay so first and foremost a uh, shout out to blend bunny they sent me a set of uh, lip liners that was not in my order and I got it for the free we like that shout out to y'all okay so first and foremost we're gonna take this color right here from blend bunny um, I don't know what the color is it's just called creamy lip liner and that's all I need to know so we're gonna go ahead and line the lips take some of the concealer um actually we're going to use number 42 from maybelline super stay and we're just going to put it in the center of the lips like this okay <laughs> i actually like the way this looks you can put concealer in the middle of your lips and you know it gets it together but we're going to take it up a notch so we're going to go back into the blend bunny palette and we're gonna take this color. Let's see, what color are we we're gonna use this color right here called Power here. <music> take this color right here from Dosa Colors. It's from the Nima Tang collection. Um, as you can see, it's like a glittery orange, and we're just gonna put that on top. For me, you guys, this is the final look. Get into, get into it, okay? We're giving, we're giving Saturn eyes, Jupiter eyes, planet eyes, whatever type of eyes you want to do, okay? We're out here, okay? I feel like tequila sunset eyes. I don't know. I just like it. I'm here for it. And the gloss the list is lifting, okay? Y'all. Bunny. Y'all did that. Y'all do not be surprised if y'all see me with another palette from them in the very, 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 very much near future. Um, and then also, Georgia Almighty people, this is a hit. The internet got me together again. Now, as far as this Sasha Buttercup, this yellow powder, I'm kind of on the fence about it. I'm going to be for real. I like the fact that it doesn't have a flashback, but it's like too, it's maybe too yellow for me. I don't know. Maybe I'll bake with it in the future. Y'all will definitely see it again as I figure this thing on out. But anyway, y'all, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned to the next episode of The Van Show because, y'all, we got some things. I got some things I want to show y'all. I cannot wait. Anyway, see y'all next time. Bye.